you work as a nurse in a hospital, there's a good chance you're on your feet a lot. It's worth investing in good socks. Those are my favorite socks. Going for a walk. Hey, I felt a raindrop. No, you didn't. I did. Yeah. That would be great. Gonna rain you like us. the rain, Raylan? Don't mind, we need a shower. We don't have our tent. Oh, I felt one. Walking home. Okay, nurses, how many steps do you think you get on a hospital floor? I felt one. Yeah. I don't have a pedometer, and I don't think I get as many on pain as med search floor. Or God, as me on pain at med search floor. as the people children's, but they always would get at least 10,000 steps if they had Fitbits, because I would ask them. So, if you work as a nurse in a hospital, there's a good chance you're on your feet a lot, which is why I'm going to tell you about all the socks I've recently bought. Do you like your socks? I, I'm not even wearing socks right now. <laughs> oh, that's not good for your feet. I'm not is it not socks good? Either. This is our hobbit child. You tell me not to wear socks with sandals. I think that it's Whoa. not good to walk long distances without socks. These are comfortable shoes, though. Yeah, that's, that's good. Do the big reveal. Yes, it is. More socks. Yay. These are Thorlows. Recommended by my clinical supervisor for people with diabetes, but they have padding to reduce blisters, pain, moisture, and pressure, and they're supposed to have a little bit of compression. So we're going to try them out because these socks right here, I also got on Amazon. There's so many cute ones, and these are compression socks. I love them. They're my new favorite kind of socks. I have some foot problems. And I originally heard that compression socks were good for nurses because they would help prevent fainting. Like if, like they help blood flow. So if you, I think it's called a syncope, I don't know. If you see blood that like it makes you pass out, you're less likely to with compression socks. So that's kind of originally why I got them, but I did know I had some foot problems, but they help a lot with foot comfort. I have these. I have a little $8 pair from Walmart that's just like, it just goes here and here, and it provides a lot of compression. They're black. They provide a lot of compression. I actually wore them under these one day when my feet were really bothering me, and it was not too much for me. But $8 a pair is expensive. I saw on Amazon some other ones. They look like the Walmart ones, but they were way cheaper. So I bought some of them, and they're almost as good as the Walmart ones, but way cheaper. So yeah, that's good. Yeah, I have some major feet issues and clinicals have not been good for them. So I have learned socks can be just as helpful as good shoes, guys. Just as helpful as good shoes. So I'm gonna try these on and I'll let you know how they are. <sighs> the compression is not that much compared to a regular compression sock. They're padded and they definitely do feel thicker than other socks. It says, Thoros with Thorlon distance walking padding, clinically shown to reduce blisters, reduce pain, reduce pressures, reduce moisture. I do have like the balls of my feet and the heels of my feet both hurt and I would like a little more padding, but the compression is what helps the most. And these padding is significant, but the compression part is not. I would say they run a little small, I think if you got cold feet, these are good for someone who gets cold feet. I have a feeling they're, they're moisture wicking. It says reduce moisture. I feel like they would be moisture wicking. So I got the women's medium. I wear a seven and a half to eight shoe. I feel like it feels just a little small, just barely. And maybe it's because I put them on for the first time and they're gonna stretch a little. I think it is. I think it's feeling less small already. I don't know what Thorlon is, but yeah, moisture wicking. If you have, if you have like plantar fasciitis or metatarsis, I feel like compression socks are gonna help you more than these. And I love my compression socks. If you don't have those conditions, but you just get tired feet at the end of the day, or you're getting blisters, these are a good choice for you. If you're having problems with blisters on your feet, one, get a better pair of shoes, but these socks definitely feel padded. And again, I feel like if you had cold feet, these feel like they would be very warm. They're also moisture wicking though, so your feet aren't gonna get sweaty. They're good socks. They're gonna hold up. For me, the compression socks are better, but I could see why these would be better for some people. I think it just depends on your needs. So nursing socks, do you, do you have any special socks you love? These, I might give these to my mom. She gets cold feet. 
I think she might like these. I'm going to see what she thinks when she comes up. I don't not like them, but I just, my feet have problems and I'm really benefiting from those compression socks a lot. Or maybe in the winter, I would pair my, my small compression ones. The ones that really like stop here, they go from here to here. Maybe I would wear those under these in the winter. I don't know. So I've tried Thorlo's. They're good socks. They're definitely really good socks. I don't think they're socks for me. Then I've tried just Walmart's special ones. They were $8. I don't remember what the packaging looked like. They work great, but they are kind of expensive. And the things I got on Amazon, which Crystal, I'm sure I'll put the links below. Those are my favorite socks. The long ones and the short ones both. Yeah, if you have feet problems, guys, it's worth investing in good socks. You invest in good shoes. I'm telling you, good socks I think might be equally as important. I really do. So what socks do you like? Tell people below. Tell me because I'm open to trying more pairs of socks. Definitely. I'm open to it. <laughs> really like my socks though. So thanks guys.